Welcome, dear reader, to the mysterious Moon Shadow Isle. In this entry of the Indigo Insider, I will be sharing from a primary source recounting from the journal of Ruggen Prunder's exploration of Moon Shadow Isle. Some of the few entries in the underground before Ruggen reached his goal described descending through meandering tunnels full of cryptic and vaguely unsettling sights. At one point, he passed by strange mineral deposits on the walls that had an appearance resembling eyes as if staring at him. When he looked away momentarily, he felt like the eyes had moved along the walls to follow him. Later, he came across a flower that became energized and murderous under the light of his improvised torch. He was only able to escape it by dousing his torch and fleeing at random, after which point he no longer had any idea where he was, or how to return to the surface. Sadly for our hero, something found Ruggen on the cusp of his greatest discovery deep in these tunnels. His last page of notes describes an enormous cavern like a lake beneath the mountains. The Orpok believed he could hear the echo of ocean waves and saw ripples of a creature swimming in the water, but he was woefully distracted when the monster revealed itself at the surface. He simply wrote, White Eel, and continued to the primary discovery. In this great cavern, Ruggen could not see the ceiling above or the walls beyond. Instead, he saw a sea of stars. There were thousands of tiny specks of mithril ore dotting the chamber walls, but that wasn't the treasure he sought. In the reflected light, Ruggen could see hundreds of petroglyphs with the same porcine humanoids depicted in the ancient tiles found elsewhere in the Indigo Isles. And more than that, these tiles seemed to tell a story. Unfortunately, here's where Ruggen's journal comes to an abrupt end. The excited Orpok must have been scribbling with his last bits of charcoal as he ran through this chamber to see and record as much as he could. In his reckless fervor and near delirium, Ruggen alerted what I believe was the white eel, and apparently something much worse. He described a deep rumbling in the earth and heard both splashing in the water and a titanic scraping of stone high above him. The last writings of Ruggen pruned of state Dust rocks falling chamber, collapsing chamber moving, mountain moving. I will join them. I do not know what to make of Ruggen Prunda's desperate final words. Was he carried into the sky by some long-buried Orpok airship? Did a horde of earth and elementals come to crush one curious intruder? Did the mountain truly come alive? How did he have time to write those words and send his journal in its waterproof container into the waves? Maybe I should clean up the ending, but I love a good mystery. And it seems that every answer about Moonshadow only leads to two more questions. Everybody, it's your GM Jason here. Welcome back to the Twenty Five North podcast. And I got the crew with me. Everybody's here. We're about to. Re- we're b- I don't know what I was going to say there, but we're about ready to roll some dice. How's everybody doing tonight? Doing, doing pretty doing good. good. Full of soup. It's warm. <laughs> it's warm inside, cold outside. Yeah, or true. Warm inside, cold outside. No, I'm yeah. cold inside. That's why I got jacket and blanket. You're doubling up? I'm doubling up. I've got a cute, like, little fuzzy blanket on, and then I have uh, a really cute hoodie I got from my viewers from my Twitch channel. Nice. They gave me a cute, like, little hoodie that has... I don't know if I can actually put it on right. Dog ears. Oh, nice. Like yeah. cor- it looks like corgi ears. I fucked up my headphones. Hold on. I'm here. <laughs> So it looks like, like corgi ears. 
It's a Shiba Inu one, because I got oh, a cute nice. little Shiba Inu actually on the top. Oh, nice. It's that very reminds cute. me of um. That reminds me of the anime. <laughs> we were just talking about anime right before this. But have you ever seen the anime Mongolian Chop Squad? No. Ooh, yeah. okay. Give me more anime recommendations to watch. <laughs> yeah, anime Beck names always Mongolian Chop Squad. Yeah, That's Beck that, uh... slash Mongolian Chop Squad. It was known as Beck in Japan, but not as Beck in the U.S. because there's an artist named Beck in the U.S. Yeah. So there's copyright it's good. stuff. It's got some really interesting music and like weird art things going on throughout it. I do Dude, the also music is it. fucking awesome. Yeah, it's all about it's all about a garage band who's oh, trying to make it big. That's Buck so is a slice rock. of life show that about a garage band that's trying to make it big. I love slice of life animes. God, I need to expand my anime palette because you know with, with how bad my uh, my movie knowledge is. It's so my sad. Anime knowledge is even worse. It's so, so sad. You you know Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is one of the big ones. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball is the one that I know front and back. Like that's my wheelhouse. If we step outside of it, I panic and cry. <laughs> Unless it's Chainsaw Man, and even then, you've only watched the first season because as of this recording, season two has not been announced, nor has it come out yet, which makes me big sad. But also, the manga is really fucking good. Yeah, and aside from that, my only anime expertise is with like. A few arcs of fairy tale, and then a couple episodes here and there of like Death Note, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, <laughs> I've seen like three episodes of Bleach. <laughs> you're like a net, you're a Netflix anime guy. Yeah, oh, mainly because yeah. that's what I had when I was trying to watch anime. <laughs> mm, Helsing? Have you seen Helsing? I've seen it bridged. Oh. Helsing a Prince from Team Four Star is actually pretty fucking good. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Very different than the original Helsing. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Helsing's awesome. I love Helsing. I want to go through One Piece, but it is so intimidating Jackson, how many episodes there watch are. Watch it with me. It's so good. It's so good. One Piece's newest anime, like one of its newest uh, intros for, I think, 20 hours for an entire new season or saga is really fucking well animated. Yeah, you oh, should be. Very good. What about Avatar The Last Airbender, Jackson? Oh, that's my favorite anime. This is true. Okay. You have there you the... Go. So you've Ava seen that one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. You also have the Avatar The Last Airbender TTRPG. I do. It's powered by the apocalypse. It's uh, it's fun. I need to... It's still in the shrink wrap. I need to open it up and actually read through it. What about um, uh, the sequel series? Oh, I actually Korra? haven't seen Korra. Korra. I need to, but I haven't yet. I'd almost argue Korra is better than I OG. I love Korra. Really? You think which it's I better? Know, which I know is a hot take, but I think I may have enjoyed Korra more, but that's probably because it's more targeted to an older audience it is, as sorry. well. Yeah, the, the storylines are much more like political and... Yeah. I'll have to give it a try. I just... I don't know, every time I start to, like, because I see the first, like, two episodes of it, but every time I start to watch Korra, I'm like, I just want to watch Avatar, and then I stop and watch Avatar again. All right, I can't believe I have to take our date nights then, and we're just going to sit down and we're going to watch Korra. <laughs> it's going to be so good. You brought this on yourself. You did oh, this. Well, oh, shit, man. If, what about you, but... Rachel? Where do you stand on Avatar versus Korra? We haven't made it through uh, Korra yet. We keep getting caught on the same arc and then losing interest and watching other things. So, mm. so the Jackson we have not methodology. Made it mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's been coined now. But I have heard that the ending is very good, and we should watch it. And we want to. We just yeah, have to get yeah. through some yeah. boring part. Yeah, for season one is good. Season three is great. In season two is. Yeah, season two has moments. Season two has moments. Ooh, yeah. That's yeah. a good way to describe it. We're introducing the kids to My Hero Academia right now, so that's fun. Okay. I've that's seen nice. it. They, okay, I was yeah, like, no, I was like, Rachel? I no. was like, Rachel, be so careful, man. Rachel, be so careful. There's... I know. I, I, know. I There's love... Some bits. I love My Hero Academia. Don't get me wrong. 
but I cannot fucking stand the amount of fan service in anime. And that show is like, Tintolis, here you go, Big Booba, haha. <laughs> ha. Yeah. And it makes it worse. God, I just wish some animes would be like, these are people that are 21 and over. Maybe don't do high school students. Just saying, just saying. Yeah. It's kind of like, um, that's, that, that's how it was in Fire Force. Oh God, Fire Force is so good, dude. But yeah, but as, but but the but yeah. the like big booby girl. Oh is, yeah, no. It's like she's clearly an adult. Mm-hmm. And she's a badass too. She's fucking ripped. Fire Force is so good. I also, because we're talking about animes, one of my first animes was Soul Eater. Oh, no. That was my first anime, and I watched the dub because I couldn't understand uh, sub yet, yeah. and I didn't want to read. <laughs> but Soul Eater was the first anime for me, and man, did it really shape what kind of taste I would have. You, you want to know what my first one was? I want to hear what is it. Ninja Scroll. I don't. Old school. I don't Very know. old school. <laughs> well, I mean, we we talked about how how much of an old man I am. It's old school <laughs> enough. It's been remade like three or four times. Damn. Is it really? I think so. Jeez, like I, this was the the original Ninja Scroll way yeah. back in the day. What was the other anime? Because my dad introduced me to anime outside of Soul Eater. I think the he... first anime I ever yeah. saw any sort of episode for was Inuyasha. Inuyasha on like Adult Swim, when you're like, oh, I shouldn't be staying up this late, but then you saw Adult Swim, you're like, oh, peak. Why not? Yeah, I'm a rebel. <laughs> That exact situation. <laughs> Ninja Scroll. It was a movie, 94 minutes, made, oh. released in June 5th, 1993. Oh, I was going to say 92. I was close. I I'm have watched every one of these animes so far mentioned. Aki the... oh, it, it's here. And it I'm says a right big here. nerd. Yes. It says right here, alongside Akira and Ghost in the Shell, it was responsible for increasing the popularity of adult-oriented anime outside of Japan. Nice. The other anime that I watched, because it was with my dad, and that's how I knew like his taste and stuff, he liked Robotech. We watched Robotech oh, together. Shit. Robotech was awesome. Robotech rules. Yeah. And then, wow. then we got yeah. just crazy animes over here at the house we my brother and i have been watching uh gurren lagan together that's been dude, awesome dude gurren lagan's awesome yeah gurren lagan's really good yeah uh i got him a bunch of stuff from that anime too for christmas oh, you're right casting. you're right here it's, it says right there's a there was another one released in Ju july 2012 Corey. damn and yeah. then there was a 13 episode series in 2003. Yeah, so I mean, it's been redone twice. And there's a live there's there was a live action adaptation in 2009. Mm -hmm. So shit, yeah, four times. It's a lucky guess, but I'll take it. Anyway, anime. <laughs> Hey, it's just fantasy on paper. My favorite anime site does not host Boku no Piku. What, is, I, what I, a shame. I mean, I think it might just be because that anime... It has... I don't know if it's an anime or if it's an adult film that's animated. Yeah, um, see, honestly, I, I, I can't say I've ever watched it. I definitely think that's a 18 plus or 21 plus type deal. I'll be honest though, I also don't know if you guys have ever watched Zaba burn the city to the ground. And I think he's about ready to do that if it comes down to it. I'd that's rather fair. watch that than Boku no Pico. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna start watching Digimon. I don't know about y'all, Digimon's on this website. I'm fucking done, dude. Digimon, digital, digital monsters. monsters. Digimon. Corey's got the hookup champions. for everything. See, this is just tying into my hyperfixation of also being on a Digimon podcast here pretty soon. <laughs> so. Yes. Speaking of Zaba burning down cities. hey -o. Last episode. The reason I bring that up is because you now find yourself outside a city. But how we got there is last episode you found all the tiles. You rested. You figured out the puzzle to get into the vault. And once in the vault, you find out that not only is the vault trapped, but the jewel, the piece of the jewel, is missing. 
Now, somebody set off the traps because you did find scraps of paper and um, evidence that somebody did come through here. Now, on the scraps of paper, it did make mention that somebody needed to find this jewel and they're going to bring it back to the something about a skin loom. If you remember that? I remember that. It was a very upsetting name. Yeah, the skin loom. And that... Well, here, let me actually read the note to you. Instead of just trying to regurgitate what the note said. <clears throat> the master says the skin loom needs more power. A potent item south of the fortress near the island's southern shore might provide this boost. This item appears to be a gem of some kind. A self-styled hero once bore it, but now it's just lying around for the taking. If I retrieve it, the master can put it to the heart of the skin loom. More favors are certain to be mine. Now, so you're 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 headed back inland because mm-hmm. they said they came they were they were head they were headed to the island's southern shore. So, south of the fortress, might as well head north towards the fortress. Now, on your way north, uh, the path leading deeper into Moonshadow's interior, you notice that it's been somewhat cleared away. Like, occasionally you come up across these, like, stones that are covered in moss. Now, they, they at some point in time, they might have been some kind of, like, waypoints or way markers. Like, because they come on these regular cadences about every hundred feet or so mm-hmm. it's difficult to to see not only because they're so badly overgrown but because the tree canopies a tree canopy is hundreds of feet above and so the entire island at this point is perpetual gloom which you kind of knew based off mm-hmm. of what you what you Procta has told you about the island in the, her note to Syl. Now, the other thing that you notice uh, along this path is the globs of tarry resin. This isn't the first time you've come across this tarry resin. If you remember correctly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen this tarry resin before and you're also noticing that this there's globs of this tarry resin along the path and they're leaving a stain on plants and those plants they, they're they not growing you also notice the strange glimmers almost as if uh, drifting pollen or bobbing insects just kind of dance here in the shadows just far far away from the path shrieks of animals moaning wind echo through this this eerie wood the animal shrieks kind of they rise in pitch almost as if they're arguing with each other until one is cut off by a single strangled scream and then a loud wind moans and the shrieks resume further off now this goes this this whole uh, the whole everything i just described goes on for about two miles until you reach a village. Now, this village is completely surrounded by a wooden fence, kind of like, you know, these these tree trunks that have been shorn down, made into like a a tall fence Mm -hmm. just surrounding this entire village. But you don't hear anything. There's no sounds that you could relate to a village at all coming from this village. Hmm. This is fucking spooky. Yes, it is uh, ominous. So over the walls, torches through the windows and straight through, Captain, or how you want to do this? I mean, I don't know why we need to destroy anything, but yeah, we can go... Over the walls, how tall did you say the walls are? Oh, they're probably a good, you know, ten feet. There might be a a gate to the city. 
Uh, they expect us to take the gate. Okay. <laughs> also, psst, Jason, I don't think I'm with them. We can see you. You wait, you can see me? I I am uh, I'm currently in a house. <laughs> on my view. Can I move my character? Yeah, I can. Oh, there we go. All right, sick. <laughs> All right, so yeah, right. Zabo climb over the fence first, dangling a rope behind him. Okay. What do you see? Do you uh, need any sort of check for climbing this fence? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. <laughs> you got it. And anybody who climbs after me, as long as I succeed. Yeah, cool. We'll get a plus two bonus because I have follow the leader. Oh, that's or, cute. Or sorry, not follow leader, lead climber. Ah. So if you critically fa- oh no, and it's not a plus two. If you guys critically fail, it's I get to try against the DC, and if I get it, it's only a fail, so you won't fall to your deaths, hopefully. <laughs> Ten feet. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Avoid that damage. Yeah, you won't fall into the Family Guy death pose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. Did Zaba make it? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got rope mm-hmm. from her. Yep. There. Oops, <laughs> hey. sorry. It, it's That's a natural good. 20 anyway. Holy oh. shit. Okay, then am I following the expert or? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Basically, if you get a crit fail, it becomes a regular fail. Gotcha, okay. Meaning you can't fall. Thank God. I'll do that after. Hey, Jackson. let's go. You just, you have a regular failure. You just don't go anywhere I'm just struggling with this rope yep. Judy just looks like let me try bud proceeds to try to climb <sighs> let's see this, this reminds me of the beginner box adventure we just did <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jackson where the exact same thing happened hey there's the no character inside. just kind of stood in place for I don't know how many rounds <laughs> hey, at least there's no inside ropes clown <laughs> oh my god. I've I've heard tales of Inside Ropes Clown. It's a good spell. Alright, athletics. Uh, Watch, cool. Timmy's just gonna... Look. Oh. Yep. Yeah, you're... Timmy's fine. Timmy made it up five feet. Hell yeah. <laughs> make it up the ten. With myself being 13 feet tall, at that point, am I able to just reach over and pluck Timmy to this side of the wall? <laughs> you know what? Sure. Fine. <laughs> Timothy climbs up. He's like, I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. Look, Sam's like, fuck. I go try again. All right, fine. Your Vesuviac also makes it halfway up. <laughs> the uh. new final boss of this game is just the ropes trying to climb. It's just an athletics checks, guys. You I can know. do it. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right. Well, forty-one well, year old man struggles to get up. Hey. Oh, do I see anything behind me? No. Basically, what you notice here is, hey, <laughs> Vesuviac, or that's a. Who's twenty? What's that? Who's natural that, twenty? That was mine. I don't know why it's not showing up in chat, but I did another climb check. Oh. Yeah, that's natural twenty. The twenty has broken the game. It has not left my screen. All right. There you go. Most of the huts here in this area are just really poorly built and even more poorly maintained. It's clear that at this point, anyone who has been, who lived here at any point in time has cleared out and has been gone for weeks. Dang. And at this oh. point, nothing of interest remains in any of these huts that like Oof. they've been like scavenged you know this little town kind of sucks there's nothing here I don't even smell any fear or blood uh, this definitely feels like there's an ambush this feels more like a ghost town if I'm honest, if I'm honest with it uh, I am Zabo Trav I am not afraid of ghosts uh, you know what Good for you, bud. What if they're made out of ink? What if they are made out of ink, though? 
Inky doorways. Problematic. Inky ghosts. Not so bad. So kind of making our way through these houses towards what appears to be kind of like the central courtyard of town. There's uh, a little creek that runs into what I'm guessing they're using as their water source. Like a, like a reverse well. Yes. Um, does it look normal? All good? Give me a perception check. Or nature. Or sailing. Oh, wow. Vibe check the water. I, I got skills. Multiplying. All right. I should. Yeah, we'll roll this one. Keep it a secret from people. Oh, my gosh. Survival also works. Yep. So anybody oh, who you? wants to look, go for it. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a look. I'll do a nature roll. I'll do a secret as well, yes, too. Yes, please. Secret. Well, you said perception, didn't you? Somehow I just had survival in my Survival head. works, though. That, cool. that makes complete sense to take a look at the water and get a get a vibe check from it. Okay. So, do you want to do any kind of check? Not on the water. I want to stay back a little ways. Okay. So, Timothy, you and Vesuviak, you both know that this is a natural spring and Ooh. this is good water. And you can tell that this probably is the reason the town was built around it. Mm -hmm. It's good water. There's good drainage. Yeah, this is good, clean water. Vesuviak's going to take a drink of top off his water skin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Timothy's... Absolutely. You're, you're, you're free to do that. Yeah, Timothy's also going to take... Probably is going to take one more sip of his rum and then sigh as he realizes he's been having a lot of the rum as of late. And he's going to purposely dump out what's left of his rum, which is not a lot. And he's going to fill it with water. Vesuviak is proud. <laughs> But he will never outwardly show it. Of course. <laughs> he just looks at Vesuviak and just, like, smiles, like, coyly. It's like, ah, see, I'm listening to you. About time. Okay, About look, I've been listening to you this entire <laughs> fucking time, mister. Compared to, like, gestures over to Zaba. Compared to our, our friendly demon, I have listened to you more than him. Hey. It takes hey, a certain, like, level of respect to gain the respect of one like me. Sil, nope, that's Sil, true. You know, Sil has Silk kill all of us in our sleep. No that's problem. That's also true. It's so, fairly easy know. to keep kill people while they sleep, though. See, the fact yeah. that you didn't even hesitate just <laughs> concerns me, but also doesn't. I'm so thankful that I'm on your side. I mean, she has a point. Sleeping people are very easy to kill. It's common knowledge, <laughs> Timothy. Yeah, this is true, okay. but... Still would do it very good. Not even wake up person in the, like, you no. Know, if you're sleeping in one hammock and there's a person in a hammock underneath you, you know, still kill you in a way that the blood doesn't even drip on them. They sleep right through it. But we try not to kill people, right? Yeah, yeah. Except for the captain. <laughs> no, the only if he gets not really that. annoying. But okay. we should discuss mutiny later. Why don't we go see what's behind you the door? It. Yeah, the big behind, building, eh? Behind what door? This there's a big building. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so there's a there's two buildings you can see here. The one that you, that is immediately across the the center from you, the the town square, is probably the the nicest of the huts, the the nicest of the buildings that um you can see. There's also another one that's fairly large directly to the south of you all. But yeah, so you're going to the to, to the large one? Yeah, I think that's what Zaba's instinct would be. Okay. Okay. We can ball. Let's do it. Zaba knocks, and by knocks, I mean he uses his boot to kick the doors open. <laughs> okay. One really swift, stern knock, and All then right. we'll step into the house. Yeah, so what you notice here is the large, this large hut is draped with pirate flags. There is an open chest that is filled with a variety of clothes. And there is a frame supporting a hammock that would be more suitable on a ship instead of a forest village. 
A rough map has been tacked into one wall and strange globs of black resin cover another wall forming a humanoid silhouette like a blast shadow. Oh. There's tiny chunks of bone, skin, hair, and viscera that are embedded in the wall almost as though someone exploded against the wall with incredible force. And lastly, there's a gleaming cutlass that is jammed point first into the hut's wooden floor. Okay, yeah, so there was a bit of a fight here. You guys stay here, I'll check this out for traps. Sounds so I'll oh. proceed in, uh, looking, going straight for the sword. Okay. Uh, and he'll draw it immediately out of the floor. Okay. Then let me... And we're going to go into... Encounter mode. Because as soon as Zaba grabs the cutlass, you notice that the cutlass, all of a sudden, this ghostly form apparates from the cutlass that is, that was stabbed into the floor. And you get a vision of a Hardigan female who has an eye patch and was wearing these leather pants, one one leg going down, the other legs torn at the uh, at the upper thigh with these black belts on her thigh, a leather jacket that has these spikes coming out of the shoulders and arms. Very punk, very like 1980s punk. Mm -hmm. And these shackles on each wrist with the chains that have been broken off. Let me just let me show you the art. Let me see this art. What a woman. <laughs> An eye patch and this scowl on her face. These horns that are curling forward, these ram horns that curl forward. And a pirate hat that has the skull of a ram. I think that Timothy thinks the moment he sees this fucking apparition appears like hot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah did I describe any anything else I'm missing in the description she I, I other than that she's beautiful she can <laughs> get it flaming she can get it her sword's on fire I think that was missed <laughs> yeah but I want to know what Zaba's reaction is to this immediate reaction Closes the door behind himself. <laughs> Second action will just look because he knows this figure, correct? Yes. Hey, uh, what are you doing here? I thought we were. I thought you were sailing the seas. It's been a and long time. Immediately, you you get the impression that the figure is not in the right state because you get a sense that she wants to reply to you but it's being she's being persuaded or almost how do I want to put this well, I can't think of the word. Is it manipulated? Manipulated, yes. Manipulated by some kind of force. Okay, okay. I see you're having some issues over there. You know, just calm down. I'll look around. Do I see anything that's, like, shiny and looks magical? I mean, other than the sword, no. Hmm. Okay. I understand maybe you are looking to uh, spare some time by yourself. I can respect that. I, uh, all right, yeah, you just hang out here. 
I'll uh, go find some like medicine or something, and you know we'll have a we'll have a chat, just you and me. Uh, and Saba's Saba's gonna attempt to just leave. So, okay. if it allows it, because so he needs to consult. Hand. Yeah, I think instinctively he would just hold on to the weapon. He's not one to let go of the sword. Okay, let's see here, and. The sword will attempt. Let me go a second here. Target you. Nope, not that. Skills. Oh shit, where is it? There it is. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, so. You know, you really seem to be holding on to some things. Just know it wasn't me, but I'll, I'll come back. We'll talk later. Okay. Mm. The rest of you want to roll some initiative? Uh, yep, I guess so. I guess. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. Wait, that was an initiative. That's what a I perception do? check. Yep, wrong. I messed but, that one up. Hold on. No, we're keeping that. Yeah, that's bum, 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 bum. That was a nat one. And yet still it's 15, still the same as one. Timothy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. And still. You haven't done anything, so you saw the door close and you just hear Zaba talking to something or someone behind the door. That's weird. I'm gonna walk up to the door and say Zaba, do you mind if we come in? And then I will. Oh. You know, I'm uh, I'm taking a sheet, so just give me like, give me like six seconds. Cool. I found a shack that I could stand and crouch in. I will drop into my stance. And that's only one more action, so I don't have enough to ready an action, and I'm not opening this door. So, I'm done. Alright, Zaba, what you doing? Uh, I've got the sword in my hand. Yes. Cool. I, uh... First action, open the door. Second action, step outside the door. And by step, I mean stride. Third action, we'll close the door. All good in there. Nothing to see. Got a new sword. Yeah, look at this thing. It was stuck in the floor. Now, Zaba, at the end of your turn... I think I would have had to end up there. Make this save. You got it. So you open the door, move, oh, move then close the door? Open door, move, close door. Yeah, so I guess I would have had to end you, there. I can throw so back one more if it's allowed so you can not be on top of us. Unless that's not an no, issue. No, I'm not so bad pushing people out of my way. I mean, it's you, you could, you could doors close the door from there. You have reach, right? Oh, yeah. I'm super tall. Yeah. All right. And, that, and that's your save? You're keeping that save? Yeah. Things seem fine. Okay. Give me a second here. What do I got for hero points? Will saves and mysterious weapons. This will end well. I do have two hero points. I thought I only had one. I like to save one for when I'm dying. But I just picked up a sword. And saw and saw a ghost. It's, it's fine. Another backup character made, like, just in case. I'm just having that thought right now. Uh, I'm gonna get stabbed super good. I'm already calling it. Super duper good. Did, it's not you, it's me. Did we see the ghost as Zaba came out? Was it still... No, because okay. as soon as Zaba grabbed... So the ghost appeared, had a chat with Zaba. Zaba uh, then grabs the sword and then moves away and the ghost disappears. Okay, so we didn't see it. Just making sure. Yeah. And you just and now you just see Zabo wielding a cutlass. 
And okay, here. Let's see. I need to read. I need to read this. Okay, please read. Mm, I don't. I don't. Chrissy, wake I, up! I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up! I don't feel good about what may or may not happen because I am assuming that that cutlass is going to go straight into one of us. Look, it's either you or me, man. We're the closest ones. But we're all yeah. in reach. That's true, actually. Yeah, I could cleave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you could, I guess. <laughs> what was <laughs> that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not for us. That was not for <laughs> us. Don't worry about it. I but... saw I saw one word and it was curse. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Your Honor, we're just a little cursed. <laughs> You crit failed the will save. What do you mean you're fine? <laughs> Saba doesn't it. know we failed the will save. Fuck it, we ball. Saba's just been subconsciously jealous of Timothy and his ghosts, and he had to go yeah, get exactly. one of his own. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the big deal about ghosts? See, fuck you, now I have ghosts. <laughs> I don't have bread ghosts, but now I've got sword ghosts. Eat that, Timothy, you fuck. All right, so, uh... Shall we check out the building to the south? Make sure there's no filthy lucre to be had and continue on looking for the source of this goo. I mean, I would have liked to check out this house more thoroughly, but if you just took a shit in there, I guess yeah. we could go yeah, somewhere else. It's messy. I think all the sword wounds have caused my intestine to have blood in them. Mm. That happens. Yeah, that would have Wait. been an issue if you let me actually heal you. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're doing great. Let's uh, let's go. Do you need me to bring out the bread ghost again? Cause I'll do it. I like the bread ghost, but Here. not and necessary me, right now. And let me drop this on your character sheet. <laughs> no. there, there you go. Thank you, Corey. All right, Timothy, you go around that side. I go this way. Am I able to potentially sneakily identify the cutlass? Timothy's not because he's trusting Zaba right now, but he's just like that. You need to you need to spend ten minutes like yeah. inspecting oh. the weapon to identify something. Then never mind. Are we yeah, just... you need like you, so... like ide how identify works. So yeah, we're gonna we're dropping out of oh, okay. out mm -hmm. of combat. Okay. How identify works is it's a ten minute activity, and you are like physically like handling the object like inspecting it you know damn all right so zombie you want me to go around the other side and open up the other door as you go in the other way i want you to go around the other side and open the door yes you've got this timothy i have faith in you you can do it i'm oh. going with timothy <laughs> okay timothy just like i guess right now Reaches into his bag and realizes he's like, oh, fuck, wait a minute. And then pulls out his spear. He's like, oh, that's weird. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> and then is going to unlock the front door or open up the door. You're just going to open it up? Yeah. All right. What? And Saba's going to do the same from the back. Okay. So it's following so this is in a distance. <laughs> irregularly shaped room that is haphazardly stacked with bunk beds and foot lockers. You do notice a battered table stands at the north end of the room covered in old food stains. Uh -huh. You get you get an odor of bad booze that just fills the room. Oof. Which Timothy is probably very familiar with. Yeah. Just like it's that whiff he's like Oh, fuck. Someone let, like, a real good scotch just, like, age out, and that's a fucking bummer. Like, not in a good way either, too. Yeah, I think I know what this smell is. Seal, give it a sniff. Let me know what you think. Okay. I will perceive, fuck. I guess. Smell is perception. Yeah, give me a secret perception check. Jason, I somehow see two of the Timothy token on my side. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you something's going on with your browser. I don't know what, what's, what's going up. on? Oop, oh well. Yeah. What you notice here, it, 
is that in this in this room, so there's there's two things that seem strangely out of place. Under the northernmost bed is uh, what do I want? How do I want to see here? Is this strange, disgusting, gross ball of writhing worms? Gross. And there's another one under the southernmost bed. So Vesuvi X right in the middle of them. Between those two beds. Uh, Vesuvi X, there's like... No. Oh, southernmost. I bed. didn't walk in far enough. Yeah. Then I guess yeah, I must be standing up there if I'm seeing this. I only saw three beds. Okay. The react, There's some worms under that bed you're next to, and some more down over there. I'll maybe I'll step away from it. <laughs> they are moving. So. Oh. Yeah, they're I'll, writhing. I don't know much about worms. I can't tell if they're, you know, oh, normal. Oh, look at the worms. I'm pretty good at nature shit. Uh, worms this way? Yeah, that bed way down there. But the, also the one you just walked by. This one. Oh, yeah. And then this one down here? This one. Ah, oh, okay. Timothy's gonna walk to it. And I guess nature check the worms? Can I vibe check these weird worms? Yeah, so... Okay, so as you as you are you're about to do that, the door slams open, and you see two creatures, like about to walk through the door. And I don't even know how to describe these things, so I'm just gonna show the art, and you can describe these things because you're an artist. Me? Okay, hold up. What the shit is that? <laughs> that that's what, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So it's like a fucked up cousin of the Stranger Things Demogorgon, where instead of it having the petal face, it's got an eye. Like it, it, it's it's got that vibe to it. It's God, I'm not gonna lie, it is serving Digimon energy. It looks like a Digimon. <laughs> An this... oddly fleshy Digimon. Yeah, actually, it's like, oh, what? What is a? This looks like an alien race. This straight up looks like an alien race from like Warhammer 40k or some shit like that. As someone who's never touched a Warhammer, it's got like bug yeah, fingers. Like it almost has like a cobra hood. Almost. It, oh my god! You know what it reminds me of? For Halo, the. What is the fucking alien race in that what? one, Jackson? The one that you fight against, the Arbiter, stuff like that. What is oh, he? Oh, uh, Sanghealy or the Elites. The Elites. It looks like an Elite, but instead of it having a normal, like, Elite head, it's shaped kind of like the head of an axe, almost, with an eye socket in the middle of it. Almost. Like, yeah. best way to describe it. Yeah, the, the, it's got, like, a lot of, like, exposed red stuff that looks like the, uh, the worms and the hunters from Halo Two a little bit. Yeah, but it, yeah, you, a, you're right. It does have like the the leg structure of an elite. Yeah. Pardon me. It's got the leg structure of an elite. Definitely gives off bug energy. Yeah. This is first and foremost. I do have to say this. This is an, a pass on my part. <laughs> 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 Everything else about this creature is serving except for the fucking eye part, man. That, 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 I don't like that one. That's immediately like Timothy's first eyes. He's looking at it. He has like the dad, like his arms, like to the sides, like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> and let me double check in the party what languages y'all have. Uh, okay. It speaks dragon. <laughs> It speaks really good common to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's that you you all start hearing in your head telepathically this strange language that none of you understand. But we're going to roll some initiative. Okay. 
Timothy probably would speak back at that moment, be like, uh, common, please? Don't understand. Which door are these guys coming in the, from? The door right where, Vasu or where Timothy's oh, at. I actually closed it, my bad, down here. What'd you... Oh, why did I roll initiative perception? I guess... Yeah, I roll, roll, yeah. You, roll, you roll nature. I'm gonna... Yeah, you can re-roll that as nature, Timothy. Baba Booey. Oh, I will, will not let me re-roll. Oh, that's fine. Just roll a nature check and I can manually up. Yeah. It don't like me. Nature check. Okay. <laughs> Not any better than people play one. And I guess it makes sense that these things got to drop on you. Yeah. So the first one is going to step on in. Hey, do you understand common? <laughs> and... It looks right at you with that big eye. Not enemy, friend. <laughs> mm, and they will come and start. Yeah, that's the, that's what they're gonna do first. Use. First. Need to read how this works. Um, okay. <laughs> Scared. I'm going to, it's, what you notice mm -hmm. about this thing is that it spends two action doing something. Okay. And you notice that there is almost this, like, inky black shadow th stuff that mm -hmm. starts to swarm and release through its organic armor. And I need you, Timothy... Yeah. To make a fortitude save. Ew, I don't want it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Ugh. All right. That is a success. And so you're fine. You just take four mental damage. As the um, oh, why did we take eight? Oops, sorry. Yeah, don't take Continue. eight. As the as this like shadowy black energy starts seeping through into your your psyche, Timothy takes that hit and is like, mm, "You're gonna have to do better than that." I take a lot of more mental damage from the gymnastics all the ghosts are doing in my head, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And the second guy's gonna go. Oh, does he have to? <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Hey. And it will. Through here. And. So it comes through the door and gets up on top of the bed, right next. right kitty, ca kitty corner from Timothy. <laughs> okay. And will attempt to. Oh no! It's going to cast a spell. Gasp! Not a spell. You'll be fine. Whoa! Whoa! And you notice that it starts to look a little blurry, like almost like. Hazy. I think Timothy like squints his eyes for a second and looks back over at the other one. He's like, no, I can see that one just fine. Looks back over, he's like, ah, oh, so this is definitely a spell. Okay, got it. All right, Pasubiak, you're up. Um, <clears throat> man, it's tough to think about what to do here. Okay, I gotta go ahead and stride 15 feet to the right so I can get in sight of the guys here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do a good old classic scorching ray, a fire ray, at uh, the uh, the guy that's directly in front of Timothy. Alright. Let's go ahead and do that. Hold on one second. Keep... Whoop. Okay, Sorry. That's fine. that's fine. That was a miss, regardless. Alright, well, that's all I could do. <laughs> All right, Zabo Trav. 
I expect better from you, Vesuviak. Put your spirit into it. As uh, so <laughs> Zaba will say is he strides forwards. Hey, Zaba. Uh, checking his movement speed. Yeah, it is 25 feet. I do believe this puts them still just outside of range for Zaba to hurt them badly. Uh, oh, yeah, because you have elongating now, don't you? I do. I do. But instead, I will take a second action to stride immediately behind Timothy down to the southern edge of the room. Mm -hmm. And administer hate. (laughs) I imagine I am wielding that. There we go. Striking with the scimitar that I picked up. Good lord. Yeah, that's a hit. Ow! For 17 points of damage, two of which are fire. Ouch. Okay. Well, Timmy, it's your turn. Timothy has, like, what is it? Zaba striking sees the new scimitar. Oh, yeah, go ahead. One second. It's going to use a reaction on Zaba. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Disregard. Disregard. Neato. Timothy's going to see Zaba pull out that new scimitar. He usually be like... Timothy whistles like, damn, that's a nice scimitar. Is that what you found in the house? Ask less questions, kill monsters. Prove your worth. You're being real fucking rude, bud. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy is gonna look at the guy in front of him, the fucked up arbiter. That's not arbiter. Uh, and he's gonna get out his shale spear and he's gonna fucking strike this thing, dude. Okay. We'll just fuck it, we ball. Oh, that's a hit. Fuck yeah, dude. Hopefully, hopefully the next part goes good. Oh, look. Oh, 10 damage, son. Look at that. Look at me. I'm doing big boy numbers. <laughs> it's like, like seven more than you ever did with the dagger. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and you got one more action. So you drew, yes. you stabbed. Yes, and I'll, fuck it, I'll stab again. All right, use that map. I will use me up. That's not gonna hit, that's a fucking critical miss. Oh, now it's gonna use its reaction. Oh. And it, you, what you notice is that it's biological armor. Yeah. Kind of clamps down around the weapon. And it is going to target you and you attempt a disarm check. Okay. So here, skills. So it's athletics. Disarm. Why don't I see disarm? I've been disarmed. Don't know. Ah, there it is. I'm scared. And that's a critical success. So the item, you knock the item out of the target's grasp. It falls to the floor in your space. So, ah. your spear has been dropped. Damn! Still getting used to that new handle. Yeah, that's it is. That's exactly what it is. All right. You hear Zaba click his tongue at you from behind. <laughs> All right, Sil, so, your turn. I will drop into my stance again. Move forward, so I'm diagonally behind Zaba. I did not actually run across those beds. <laughs> and then I will glare at the one directly in front of Timothy. Attempting no, to you just left Timothy. bounded from bed to bed. Yeah. Eight foot vertical leap. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. <laughs> there it is. Oops. Still out here trying to be Tigger from Oops. Winnie the Pooh. I might have clicked it twice. 
Ignore the second. Oh, right. thank God. And you do. You have um, intimidating glare, right? I do. I'm pretty ah. sure. Okay. It is frightened one. Good. <laughs> Stance, stride. To, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. This thing will step. Hey. And I am going to need Zaba now to make this fortitude save. Oh, I'm good at these. Am I allowed to know my result? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Nice, dude. Uh, 14 for a 26. Uh, I'm double checking to make sure that there's no immunity to it. There isn't, so I also am going to need Timothy to make that check again. Okay, right now? Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. This, never mind. This disregard, Zaba, you don't need to make that check because oh. there, there's a cooldown to it. Oh, oh okay. Disregard. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go ahead. And, all right, so... That. Instead, what's it going to do? It will... Mm, it'll spend two actions oh. to also cast Blur on itself. All right. Great, we got it, Blurry Enemies. You do have Blurry Enemies. And it will target Timothy with one... And it'll hit Timothy for... Oh, thank God. Ouch. Seven damage. Ouch, ouch, my fragile bones. All right. Now, Blurry Boy, the first Blurry Boy... Hey, Blurred. Oh, yeah. Right, and can go away. Yeah. Any Blur nerds? All right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now, the first Blurry Boy will activate the Tari inky armor bullshit. Okay. And it's going to attempt to tumble through Timothy. It's going to target Tim. And don't you do it. I'll catch you. Mm, I don't think <laughs> so. I don't think so. <sighs> no, he succeeded. Ew. So, ten. There, so I need, I'm gonna need Timothy, Zaba, Sil. Yeah, Timothy, Zaba, and Sil. You, the three of you are gonna need to make the, those fortitude saves. And let me put those there. There they go. All right. Let's hope it goes as well as my previous save. Cool. I'm All right. gonna reroll because so, I don't want worms. You don't want worms. <laughs> oh, I, I have worms. You do have worms, because first of all... Ooh. All right, so Sil and Zaba both take 15 mental damage. Timothy, you take half, so yeah. you take seven. Oh. And what? Sil and Zaba are both going to be sickened one. <laughs> Zuviak, run! It's getting gross in here! <laughs> Your fragile self is not standing! No. For once, the, drag, the, the weak tummy dragon boy is not sick. Not yet. Yet. Not yet. 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 <laughs> yet. I was about to say not yet, too. And it is going to attempt to punch Sil with its final action. Hey. Oh, don't punch Sil. Come on, man. Punches. And that's a miss. <laughs> miss! All right, Dragon Boy. I am going to move 5, 10, 15, 25 feet to get into a flanking position with uh, Syl for that guy that tumbled through Timothy. And people are fine. I'm going to go ahead and attack. I'm going to make a uh, scimitar attack against this guy. Okay. Scheme it. What, why'd you roll twice? Well, why'd you roll twice? Because oh, of the... Oh, the, con the concealed. Yeah. Oh. That, my friend, was a, con was a critical miss. 
it is going to attempt to disarm you. Okay. Don't miss. Mm. Missing is bad. Well, critically missing is bad. I'm a dragon. What's the worst it could do? <laughs> disarm you. Oh yeah. no, I have claws. <laughs> Can't be any less effective with them. I mean, goddamn. All right. <laughs> okay. We are targeting him. Uh, that was a success. Yeah, it was. All right. So. You weaken the target's grasp on the item. Further attempts to disarm the target gain a plus two circumstance bonus. And you take a minus two penalty on attacks with that scimitar or other checks requiring a firm grasp on the scimitar. The creature can end the effect by spending an action to regrip it. You know what I'm going to do instead? I am going to swipe him with a claw. Okay. Bap him like a cat. Well, the concealed succeeded and the claw succeeded, so that is a successful strike. There we go. And that's a max damage claw. Let's go. For a seven. Nice seven damage. All right, Mr. Otrov. Currently sick and right. Yes, it is me again. I see my friends are just failing to do anything ever. So first action, I would like to reposition Timothy. What? <laughs> Do not manhandle me! With a 27. <laughs> Do not manhandle me, Zaba! I can handle this! You can move Timothy five feet, but it must re remain within your reach during this movement, and you can't move it through obstacles. I may not actually wish to move Timothy. I was in my head, I was going to throw him on the floor behind me. But I am too thick for that. Yeah. So if you're willing to allow a retcon, instead of throwing Timothy, I will do other things. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Instead of throwing Timothy as much as I may wish to, and I know his puny body would cause very little resistance, um, instead I will kill this monster in front of me and further demonstrate my greatness. <laughs> The sword changes you, bud. That sword's done some nasty. Hey. You've gotten bigger dick energy. Damn, that is a critical son. hit. <laughs> God damn. Oh, man. Ah, I didn't roll very good, though. So, that'll be 22 points of damage for Yeah, which those were fire. kind of low rolls. So t on 2d6, you rolled a 3 and a 2. On, on the fire, you rolled a 2. Yeah. That's. But, hey... This thing is not looking great. Cool. And then on the backhand, I will just swing. Oh, sorry. I accidentally took myself for rum plank momentarily. <laughs> uh, I will swing down with the flat of the blade. Metaphorically, I'm using the cutting edge on his buddy, trying to do some lethal damage there. Just buzz sawing. Oh, oh the second is the, was what, the reason for the mess. Hmm. Cool. And then, uh, just being tactical and stuff, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take my long shot and try and trip the one standing on top of the bed between Syl and Vesuviak. Oh, yeah. Just Mi push the bed. Take that map minus 10. You got her. Just push the bed a little. Oh no, that's did, a critical I did not failure. Roll good. <laughs> so you fall prone instead. Nice. All right. Well, Demonstrated Timmy. his greatness. Demonstrated his greatness. You know, I feel personally really shown up right now, Zaba. <laughs> He's still taller than you even. Yeah, I know. Corona. I feel really shown up. Absolutely. Okay. So Timothy looks at this thing. He thinks it's like, you know, like it's done something to him now that it's like taking a weapon from him. He's like, all right. Honestly, I think me not having a weapon would have been better for you. He's going to cast the spell Flint. Mmm. Okay. Ah oh, shit, Corey disappeared. So target it and hit that yes. attack button. I will hit that attack button. See if you can actually touch it because it's blurry. 
Oh, that's a mess. Uh, cringe. I want to really re-roll it because I have the ability to re-roll. I've got one. Ah, fuck it. Why not? I'm going to re-roll it using one of my hero points. All right, all right. Oh, still mm. a mess. Timmy's like, well, all right. I tried and grabs the spear. <laughs> That's right. his last thing. Oh, nice. So yeah, re put put that spear back in your hand. Okay. Spear is back in hand. And we go to Sill. Yeah. I would very much like to kill the one that is almost dead, but it's so far and away. And you do have one that you are currently flanking. Yeah, but I'd let, I'm the last one to go before these ones go, so it would be that better to kill it. Okay. Timothy just looks like back and is like, I got this one, just get the one that's focusing you, man. Please. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're doing great, Timothy. I'll strike at this one once. The almighty Vesuvia can heal you if you get injured. See? Hey, <gasps> that's a hit because of the off guard. Thanks. Yeah, you love to see yeah. that. Huh? Yeah, we. Oh. It's 15 nice. there. Nice. And then I'm going to move through Zaba's spaces up onto the bed next to the one that's almost dead and take a swing there. Hey. You dropped your spear. I did. Kind of off, like disarmed me completely, dude. That's unfortunate. So not fun. Yeah. And that's also a hit. Okay. If this thing fucking lives, you hitting, I'm gonna be so surprised. Nine? Not great. This thing did live. Yeah. It's unfortunate. <laughs> no fucking way. Cheater. This is a game shark. <laughs> Back in my day, it was known as a game genie. Oh, damn, though. I used to get those action replays for my DS. Oh, fuck yeah. Spot all the stuff into Pokemon Diamond. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see here. We are going to... This thing is going to cast a spell. Ew. Why? <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to need a... It's going to... The last person to actually heard it is Syl. Oh no, Syl. So it's going to target Syl with the spell. And I'm going to need Syl to... Ew! a fortitude save, please. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes, brother. I would like to not have a good Okay. That. That's no better. Still a failure. Yeah. So you see... You see this this creature, this alien thing, elite-looking uh, demogorgon thing, reach out its hand, and it starts leeching blood from you. Ew. Ew. But also cool. Oh, so much it leeches damage. Tw 25 damage to you. Yum. And Delicious little sill snack there. It will then take half of that in temporary hit points. So that's its first and second action. Perfect. And for its third action, it's going to target itself. Cast shield. <laughs> and it is blurry, so it does need to actually succeed in targeting itself. Uh, that's funny. All right, all right. This 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 bad boy is going to look at the prone Zaba, and yeah, it's going to also cast a spell. And I need to double check and see what this one. That's not going to do anything. He doesn't want to do that. Mm, nope, doesn't want to do that either. Okay. It will then... It's going to... Tends to... Daze. Be prone. And sicken Zaba. I need a will save from Zaba. 
Oh my goodness, that is a success. You Holy will take baby. half damage. So half of seven. And it's going to step. For its final action. And we go to Vesuviak. Dragon Boy. You are muted. Ha Dragon, ha. Boy. Dragon Boy can't speak. <laughs> I don't like that that thing moved. And uh, that kind of put a damper in my plan. So I have to do some measurements. Oh, perfect. Okay. And Cory is also muted. All right, so I am going to take my first action, move 15 feet to get onto the bed, to uh, keep flanking the um, the thing that's between Zaba and me. Nice. And then I'm going to take two actions to throw a heal spell at Syl. Oh, nice. Have all of your health back. Yay. <laughs> Yippee! Well, almost all. Pretty good chunk. Still 36 health is pretty the good. Vast majority. Still could have rolled better. <laughs> All right, I'm not the one who's on my fucking ass. <laughs> Honestly enough, though, I did it to myself. It is really funny that you did do it to yourself. <laughs> All right, Zaba, you're up. Okay, well, uh, seeing as this one down below is hurting my friend so badly and... You know what not? Oh, first action, I stand up. Yeah, there you go. Let's get rid of that problem. And then second action, I am going to make just a menacing strike on the target to myself uh, with the intention of creating as much splatter on Timothy as possible if I can <laughs> angle my blade right. <laughs> oh, and that uh, is a miss. All right. How do you manage that shit? I'm going to try again. It's not gonna blur is really annoying, yeah. isn't it? I'd like to blame the blur, but I passed it every time. Yeah. <laughs> I just bad at hitting things. This is song number two. And uh, that is the end of uh, Zaba's turn with the action to stand up. All right, Timothy, you're up. Well, shit, Scoop. Clearly, he's seeing that Zaba's striking his things. Like, all right, this, this, this is fucking rough. He is gonna. Mm, I think, yeah, Timothy's, Timothy's fucking done with it. He's willfully letting, or uh, willfully letting himself get possessed by the witness to ancient battles. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Currently his dad's out. So very, very happy to be here, ready to fucking crack some skulls. Uh, and I think his other thing is right now is that he wants to use his funny ability that I have. The bu 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 bu. try to find that spell. Where is it? There's spells. Okay. Uh, I want to use my embodiment of battle as well too. Okay. So I'm gonna cast. one action for possession. Yes, one action for possession. The the embodiment of battle, which is also one action. Okay. And then Timothy's gonna fucking strike this thing in front of him. Plus with... one to attack and damage. Yes. And then Timothy's gonna attack with his spear. Did you pick it up? I did. Yes. So yeah, I just okay. did it with my last turn. And you get oh. you gain attack of opportunity. Oh shit! So. All right. Let me see. I'm trying to see how. I don't think it adds on to that, unfortunately no. for me, because we don't have that set up yet. No, no, because it's a playtest module, so... Yeah. So here, I will... We just least... we just have to remember. Yeah. All the dice. Plus two isn't going to do anything on a natty one. No. Womp womp. That's oh, bullshit. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, isn't there... He's going to have gone. a reaction. <laughs> He's going to try to <laughs> steal your spear again. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bono just looks like, are you fucking serious, bud? You really gonna try that? I'm yeah. sorry. I just, look, hey, I'm gonna dad you here for a second. You really shouldn't. Cause you want me to kill you compared to the fucking things behind me. You really want to do that? <laughs> you really want that on you? All right. And roll. That's a All success. Right. So you just get a minus a uh, two. <laughs> oh no. Oh. It just kind of evens out. Yeah, it evens out. Ah, <laughs> shit. Well, it's 
somehow I feel like this was arbitrary for me to be here now. Well, shit. Anyways, still nice to see you. Y yeah. All right. I wonder if you, you know, killed stuff, but. All right, Snow. Oh, no, I have. This thing does not want to die, though. I will strike at it. There's no way to get flank from here. Yeah, sorry, man. It is not this thing's choice if it lives or dies. Ah, uh, you failed your conceal. Yeah, and my strike. That was just horrible. Strike again. Hey! Hey, that's a success on the conceal and a, and strike. That's good. Or is it going to be enough? No. Didn't it just get Not a bunch of Not to overcome the, the temp hit points. Yeah. No. Fuck Christ. <laughs> cool. I will just strike another time. And that's a critical miss, <laughs> but it doesn't three. have a reaction again. Oh my god. I already used it. Bro, these fucking worm things. Would you still love me if I was a worm? The answer is no. Not this thing. All right. So it's going to it. lose the shield. But guess Thank what it gets God. back this round? No, uh, it's fucking weird. Shadow. Yeah. It gets its toxic shadows back. So yeah, we're going to infected jokes on it. <laughs> you still take damage. I know. So it needs to succeed a tumble through on Timothy. Ew, don't do that, please, God. I already had one of you try to tumble through me. Or the tumble through my son. Oh, hold up, wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> me? My son? Who am I? Yeah, my son. Look, it gets real weird in here, man. Oh, yeah, that's a critical success. If you... Uh, does Critical successes don't matter, so... <laughs> it land, it's a ten-point landing. <laughs> and... Oh, no. So there... Subiak, watch out! I've heard yep. you had an upset Tony! Yep. So I'm gonna need all four of yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it's gonna. It, it passed through Syl, and Timothy, and Zaba, and now it's right next to Vesuviak. So I'm gonna need all four of yes to make those fortitude saves. That's a failure at a 21? What? Oh, poor Vesuviak. Should have known that was coming. I <laughs> should have known that was coming. <laughs> Are you? St you're still on mute, Jackson. You keep muting yourself. Why? I do. I was trying to figure out music. Yeah, I, I, I'm sad. Very sad. Right. Well, still, so you take half. <laughs> no, Everybody else sick. takes full on that Ugh. fourteen. Youch. <sighs> and now everybody's sickened. Yay! Yippee! Blech. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Does that increase to sickened two for me? No, no. Only if you Ooh. critically fail will you get sick in two. Good, good. Great. And for its last action, it's gonna it's gonna target itself and cast shield. <laughs> Man, I really wish I had some like fishing line, because I would have been bobbing you fucking worms in some water to feed some fish. Fucking right. hate here. Concern. No. <laughs> concern. <laughs> Extreme concern as I am now flanked! Yeah, the uh, the second one is gonna go right behind Vesuviak, and you're gonna you're gonna get flanked, bud. How do you, how do you feel about that? Not great. No, probably not, because it's gonna ca it's gonna spend its third, a second and third action casting vampiric touch. Oh, that's not good. Now that you're second, make that fortitude save. Oh, maybe. Yeah! Oh, that's the pet oh, success. Baby. Being a dragon helps. Yep. Go, dragon, go. So you'll take half of what I roll. <laughs> hey, thank God it's only half. It's still so a heart attack every time I see that many dice fly across. So the you take 11. Just take 11. Okay. And he only gets five temporary hit points. So it's not, not that big of a deal. <laughs> All right, Masuviak, now it's your turn. Okay. It's desperation hours right now. I am going to make a bite attack against the death door guy, the uh, 
One okay. immediately to my south. The one that's shielded. Okay. Yes. Hopefully, this works. We'll find out. Bite the worm's head off. It'd be so silly. Well, probably not. <sighs> you missed the conceal. Damn. Sure. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to take my second action to move 20 feet back towards Timothy and Zaba and the rest of the party. Mm-hmm. Hey. And then I'm going to take my third action to treat my own wounds. I guess we're all the upset tummy club now. <laughs> Let's just go with the train DC. I don't want to risk the fail. Okay, nine health back. We'll okay. take it. That that second kept you from doing a critical. Damn. It's fine. <laughs> all right, Zaba. Okay, well... Without having to move, I will strike at the the more grievous, grievously injured one to the north east. Mm-hmm. So finish this bad boy off. Hey, uh, it's critical a hit! Three natural twenty for twenty points of damage, even, and it's dead. Yes, mm. God! Oh my God! This Second thing just action. explodes. Perfect. Section to action to stride 25 feet past it, cutting off both of the exits from the room uh, while still remaining within direct base to base contact. And I will take a second strike at attack bonus and try and make this one hurt a lot too. Make this one go splat. Hey, that's a hit! 15 on the die for a 26. Nice. Hey, 17 points of damage. I'll take it, considering my crits were only 20. Four of that was fire. I rolled max on the fire die. All right. Now we go to Timothy. Okay, so one action. I want to re-get my strength back to my... Spear? My spear, yeah. So you re-grip it? Okay. Yeah, I'm re-gripping it. And then... Because I can throw my spear... Yeah. How far away does it have to be, though? Or how close do I have to be to it? Uh, 20 need, feet. It's, it's 20 tw- feet? It's 20 feet, so you'll take a penalty. No, I'm going to move up for one action. Okay. Just so I can be there. Let's let's be right there. Okay. I will toss my spear. And chuck it. All right. I, I chuck the spear. You daintily lobbed the spear. Hey. And that's a miss. But... You have throwing level two. I do. What is that? Does that mean it, it comes back? It returns at the end of the turn. Yep. Oh, nice. So Timothy and... throws the spear, and then it returns back to him. And he's like, well, well, all right. So cool. <laughs> it's very cool. This battle's very not cool. I'm going to not lie. This thing kind of sucks. Really sad. My son really thought that I would be helpful here. I thought I'd be, but I guess not. All right, so you're up. Okay, I will run forward onto a bed, since that is the only place they can get in contact with it, and straight. Does it count as high ground? <laughs> There's no it's overworm, I have the high ground. Only. Hey, that's a critical hit. Ooh. Thank God. Kick its kneecaps in. Oh, it's it's the skull bad. from up here. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, oh hit, good more lord, Sil. Sil's so fucking funny. bad. Jesus. Jesus. Was that you Max? Uh, I think more it was. You. Almost, Max. Almost. Almost. Damn, um, so. Only you got yeah. the sneak attack in. It's because of the bounce off the bed. Extra momentum yeah. coming down. That's right. <laughs> wow, Sil. That's another hit. Can yeah, you, Sil's fucking done. Can you finish it off? Let's hope. Oh, not Seven? quite. Seven? No, of course not. Dude, these Ugh. fucking worms... All right. Final, final action. What's it going to do? Okay. Well, it's going to do its toxic shadows. You totally shouldn't, though. So, we're going to go there. There. God, of course you got closer back to me. Great. All right. Well, you're taunting me that I couldn't hit you now? I see how it is. So, Toxic Shadows, everybody make this Fortitude save. 
Hey, critical success. Hey, Zaba, you're now immune. Nice, good for Zaba. <laughs> God damn it. Does my, ex does my exi existing sickening go away with my immunity? No. Nah, that'd be cool, but I'm not surprised. I see a dog tail in the corner of you. All right. Damn. Sil Vesuviak, you both take 10. Timothy, you take 5. Damn. And in a final, final action, it's going to target Timothy and attempt to punch. You're talking so much shit. Yeah, you know, that's honestly fair. Yeah, also fair. To deal 11 punch damage. Hmm, okay. I'd like to use my reaction to do protector sacrifice and decrease that by three. And I'll take the other eight. Okay. So I only take three damage? You would take five damage. Oh. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I was like, wait, hold damage. on. They take no, you don't take any. I take all five. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no additional effect to this. So, yeah, I just redirect that all to myself, and it's five damage. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, that, you know what, bud? That was pretty fucking useful for me. All right. I'll just manually adjust that on my own. And you now it's your turn anyway, Subiak. Cool. I am going to take a stride action to get into a flanking position with Timothy. And yeah, let's go. I'm going to attempt to bite for one action. I found out that my bite is better than my sword, so I'm doing that. Well, is it really not. though? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> I'll do a claw, at Matt. And yeah, because that's agile, at least. Yeah, and I'll see if that works. Nope. Hey, I think you're hey, better with the oh, sword. Oh, I can't disarm your claw. Never mind. All right, cool. Uh, he that... declips you in the middle of battle. He takes out a nail clipper and declips you. Listen, I, I sacrificed myself to protect you. No. I'm still recovering. It's okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Not going to lie. Get real bad here, bud. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm watching your health. I'm trying to help. I know, it's okay. Sometimes you just have to do everything yourself. <laughs> hey, that's a hit. All right, well, this thing's going to die now because of Zaba. If it doesn't die to Zaba hitting it, I'm going to be so surprised. Ooh, bad roll. Plop. All right, so I strike him once with Marnie's scimitar for 10 points of damage. And you can describe your kill. Oh, I uh, I do kind of a sweeping angular cut so that as the body falls apart, it creates almost like a, a flesh funnel that sprays whatever kind of ichor and blood that's inside of it directly on Timothy. And it just kind of like sprinklers as it falls to the ground. <laughs> so Zelda's as, new thing is just making Timothy dirty. So as you spend the next, the next bit patching yourselves up and refocusing... When you when you look at when you inspect the bunkhouse, I threw those balls of worms into the loot. If you want to identify what those are, oh, and I, you can go for it. All right. I think I think Timothy's dad is actually going to be like, I'm detecting some hostile energy. I'm going to just let my son talk to you. And he gets out of Timothy's body. And there's actually like no falling over this time around. Timothy's just standing up and then points to Zaba. Hey, what the fuck's your problem, my guy? You're not um, only this hostile towards me. I uh, have been thinking about it. And, you know, maybe you need a bit more training. If I wasn't so soft, you would get stronger. You know, I just want you to survive for now. For now. Well, you never know what will happen in the future. Too many spirits come out of you, and it might be like, this guy's a lot, you know? Like, sometimes he makes bread, sometimes he just, like, spins in circles and screams because he thinks he's a top. And I, I, I would throw the top off the boat. Uh-huh. Who are you doing that to, by the way, Jackson? I saw so you do in heal. Okay, sick. I, just, I was like, oh, let me look over really quick. I, I'm just quietly doing these. Yeah, for sure. Right. Timothy, already healed you, Timothy. 
Yeah. I already healed. I already healed okay. you. Thank you. All you should say the name of the person and, uh, and do the check on at the bottom of the roll. <laughs> your dad isn't such a bad guy. He at least knows how to make a classy exit. I mean, Timothy hit that thing, Zaba. He did great. And, and we don't kill party members, even if they're annoying. I, I have not advocated for the death of anybody within this party. I'm just saying, if you're not strong... But we've seen Timothy like... try to swim. If you threw him off the boat, he'd Can I die. vibe check Zaba? Can you vibe check on my good guy, Zaba? Yeah, give me a second here. You yeah. can... Mostly because Timothy's used to him being like this, but at the same time, it's a little bit more aggressive than normal. Yeah, let me... His dad's senses are going off. <laughs> so... Give... So let me hear. Yes. This, <laughs> Rage. this, or this. Ooh, let me see. Which one do I have a better stat in? Let's find out. Arcana, Occultism, or... Religion. I think Religion I'm actually... Yeah, alright. And if you want to identify the worms, I posted it up above, but here. Sick. The oh, one. why does it go down from an 11 the to a 6? The graphics for worms. Whack. Let's see. Alright. Let me actually, I'm going to roll an occultism one. Okay. Well. That heals fellows for you, Zaba. And here, I'll, sure. I'll identify the worms for you still, because you identified it. From a distance. There you so go. Really okay. I'm really done funny. healing now. We're fine. <laughs> All right. Timothy, yeah, you're not sure what's going on yeah. with Saba. That's he's he might might have just been grumpy today. Yeah. He probably didn't sleep well inside the inside the cave. Yeah. Oh, these worms make people sleep really shitty. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I'm just gonna keep these. Zaba, are you sure you're okay, my man? I am good. Just follow me and we will get out of this town and set to the seas or whatever. Well, we've got to find is. the guy that's got the jewel. Yeah. Didn't, don't we think he might be here? I, uh, yes, I presume so. Easy way to find man with jewel is just set village to flame. Stand I by the we... gate and wait for them to retreat. I mean, it's a pretty big town. I don't know. You could go out the back. We could be in the front. It might not be there the best. There is a 10 foot wall. You saw how hard the Soviet struggled to get over. Well, we also are looking for a skin loom, right? I figure yeah, looking... whatever this crystal is is probably already in the skin loom. Hmm. What a good term. Skin loom. I mean, it is a funny sounding word. It doesn't sound like a tool to me. At least not the way that that note described it. It sounds like it could be some sort of like, I don't know, like the rope golem that we fought earlier. Could be something like that. Sure. Maybe there's a back door to that big house so we don't have to go through yeah. the room Zaba used. I did see a side door earlier. I uh, do feel, don't know, a little bit sick today. I think I beat something wrong, but yeah, I would steer clear from that room. Yeah, we. W I mean, you looked that room over well enough to find a sword, so I'm sure there's nothing else there, right? All good. Cool. All right, and I think that is where we'll end the episode. For this week. Hell yeah. The end. Yeah, so, the end. <laughs> the end. So, that being said, we appreciate you all listening to us. And we would appreciate it if you could spread the word. Word of mouth is the best way to grow the podcast and grow the community. So, if you enjoy what we do. Share the share the podcast with anybody you think would be a fan of Pirates or Pathfinder or just improv and audio fiction. We'd love to have them listen to our show, and we'd love to have them join our community on Discord. And if you have if you haven't joined our joined our community on Discord, check us out. It should be in the show notes to, on where to join. And lastly, 
we recently changed our tiers on Patreon. So we only have two tiers now, and they're both pay what you want. If you pay $1 or more, you can submit any hero points. And if you pay $5 or more, you can go ahead and get access to all of our shows early. So if you if you want to support what we do and uh, support us on Patreon with a little bit of a um, little bit of capital, that help keep that helps keep the show going and that's really how we can afford to keep this product and this show in your ears. So, that being said, anything else folks? I want to stay in people's ears. I would like to stay in people's ears too. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks thanks for listening. May your party never end, folks. May your May party, party never, never end. end. May your party never end. Baba boy. <laughs>《Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and are used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.